Welcome to this captivating audiobook dedicated to the timeless and poetic world of William Shakespeare's sonnets. These enduring masterpieces of English literature, penned by the bard himself, have stood the test of time and continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, transcending centuries and cultures. Shakespeare's sonnets are a treasure trove of emotions, thoughts, and reflections that delve deep into the human soul. Comprising 154 sonnets, this collection explores themes of love, beauty, time, mortality, and the complexities of human relationships. They provide a profound glimpse into the complexities of the human experience, offering readers and listeners a mirror to their own innermost feelings and desires. The beauty of Shakespeare's sonnets lies not only in their lyrical language but also in their ability to evoke powerful emotions. Each sonnet is a miniature masterpiece, a carefully crafted expression of love, desire, jealousy, and the ever-elusive nature of time. As you listen to these sonnets, you'll find yourself transported to an era of eloquence and poetic brilliance, where words are woven into exquisite tapestries of meaning. Shakespeare's exploration of love is a central theme in these sonnets. From the ecstasy of passionate infatuation to the agony of unrequited love, his words resonate with the complexities and contradictions of the human heart. Whether you are a romantic at heart or a curious soul seeking to understand the depths of human emotions, these sonnets offer a profound and enriching experience. Moreover, the sheer diversity of Shakespeare's sonnets is astonishing. Some are addressed to a mysterious and captivating, dark lady, while others celebrate the beauty of a young man, and yet more contemplate the passage of time and the inevitability of death. This variety ensures that there is a sonnet for every mood, every occasion, and every facet of the human experience. As you embark on this auditory journey through Shakespeare's sonnets, prepare to be enraptured by the eloquence of the language, the depth of the emotions, and the timeless relevance of these verses. Whether you are a Shakespearean scholar, a poetry enthusiast, or simply someone in search of beauty and wisdom in words, these sonnets are sure to captivate your heart and mind. So, sit back, relax, and let the mellifluous words of William Shakespeare transport you to a world where love, passion, and profound introspection intertwine, creating a symphony of emotions that will resonate with you long after the last sonnet has been spoken. Enjoy the journey into the enchanting realm of Shakespeare's sonnets. Here is the full verses of Shakespeare's sonnet number 3. Look in thy glass and tell the face thou viewest. After the sonnet listen to the summary and analysis of the sonnet. Look in thy glass and tell the face thou viewest. Now is the time that face should form another. Whose fresh repair if now thou not renewest. Thou dost beguile the world, unbless some mother. For where is she so fair whose inerred womb? Disdains the tillage of thy husbandry. Or who is he so fond will be the tomb? Of his self-love, to stop posterity. Thou art thy mother's glass, and she in thee. Calls back the lovely April of her prime. So thou through windows of thine age shalt see. Despite of wrinkles, this thy golden time. But if thou live remembered not to be. Thy single, and thine image dies with thee. Summary. Sonnet 3 addresses a young man and urges him to consider the importance of procreation and preserving his beauty through having children. The speaker begins by advising the young man to look in a mirror, glass, and realize that it is the right time for him to father a child. If he doesn't do so, he is deceiving the world and denying. A mother the joy of having a child as beautiful as him. The sonnet emphasizes that there is no one so beautiful that they should refuse to share their beauty through procreation. The poem then introduces the idea that the young man is a reflection of his mother, and through him, she relives her own youthful beauty. Despite the inevitable aging process, the young man can still enjoy a golden time if he has children. However, if he remains childless, his image will die with him. Analysis The mirror imagery, the opening lines invite the reader to envision the young man looking in a mirror. This mirror symbolizes not only physical appearance but also self-reflection and self-awareness. The act of looking in the mirror serves as a metaphor for self-examination and introspection. Procreation and posterity, like many of Shakespeare's sonnets, Sonnet 3 focuses on the theme of procreation and the desire to leave a lasting legacy through offspring. The speaker encourages the young man to consider his duty to continue his line and bless a mother with a child as beautiful as himself. Metaphor of the glass, the idea that the young man is his mother's mirror or reflection suggests a connection between generations. 
Through her son, the mother can relive her own youthful beauty and vitality. This idea underscores the importance of lineage and the continuity of beauty in life. Contrast of youth and aging. The sonnet presents a stark contrast between the youth's current beauty and the prospect of aging, windows of dying age. It acknowledges the inevitability of wrinkles in the passage of time but suggests that through procreation, a part of one's youth can be preserved. Rhyme Scheme Sonnet 3 follows the traditional Shakespearean, or English, sonnet rhyme scheme, consisting of three quatrains, four line sections, followed by a rhymed couplet two lines. This structure allows for the development of the theme and argument in a systematic manner. Themes The sonnet explores themes such as the passage of time, the impermanence of physical beauty, the importance of procreation and posterity, and the intergenerational connection between parents and children. In conclusion, Sonnet 3 implores the young man to recognize the significance of procreation and the continuation of beauty through offspring. It uses the metaphor of a mirror to convey the idea that one's reflection carries the legacy of previous generations. The sonnet underscores the contrast between youth and aging and emphasizes the importance of leaving a lasting image through posterity.